Hello hatchlings and welcome back to Stefano's world. It's been a little while. I took a little bit of a break um, and a little bit of a breather. This episode is going to be a bit more nicer and slower paced than what the other ones have been. Oh, that's how you make concrete. You pour water on it. How am I that? Oh, you can tell that um, I know all the new stuff in Minecraft, you, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, I took a little bit of a break from Minecraft. It'll happen uh, every now and then. But I think just the fact of me continually keep dying all the time and me just having to get everything again I just wanted to take a break so my episode back into Minecraft is just going to be me building a spa because what better way to relax after a horrifying day of being blown up by a creeper than going to a spa so that is my reasoning for all of this right now is that, um, yeah, we're uh, building a spa to just relax after uh, all of the horrible stuff that um, has happened. Now, for you guys, it's probably not the longest break from Minecraft. I usually try to, like, upload it every week, and I, like, before that, would upload it every so often between videos and then I started uploading it weekly and then uploading various different things um, on the same week so uploading twice a week um, but I just kind of couldn't really record as much Minecraft um, I wanted to, to play some other things, and I did. I played The Evil Within um, and had a, a lot of fun playing it. I've now finished it, so uh, going to be editing all of those videos for you to see and everything. Played Wretched and Clank. That one was um, really fun. Been playing uh, Dragon Age Origins and Assassin's Creed. So there are other games that are going to be coming on to the channel that I've been playing as well so if it looks like I'm not playing particular games it's probably just because I'm playing other games for the time being and I'll, I'll definitely get around to it at some point um, playing them. So I wanted to build this spa out of concrete but I didn't know how to make it I just kept making um, concrete powder and I was like, how on earth do you turn concrete powder into concrete? Do you put it in the furnace? And I couldn't put it in the furnace. Uh, that didn't work. So I just ended up building out of the concrete uh, powder. But I wanted to make the roof out of the concrete. And I was like, how do I, how do, I do that? And now I've just realized that... Um, you can make concrete out of mixing it with water. It makes a lot more sense now and I feel I feel very silly for not realizing. Because that's how you make concrete in real life. You have the concrete powder and then you mix it with water. So it, it only makes sense that you would mix it with water in, in order to get concrete. I kind of feel, I feel very silly for not realizing it sooner, honestly. I don't, I don't know why. I, I don't know why I didn't, I didn't think of it. That's just, my mind is blown. Why? <laughs> Well, uh, now I know how to make the um, concrete, so now I can actually build the roof of this. Um, I'm coming in building this. Uh, you probably haven't seen me start building 
this more. You've just seen me build the platform in last episode, which was a while ago, so I'm sorry if you uh, don't remember. But my goodness, so this is the spa, and this machine here that you were looking at is kind of like a fountain that's supposed to let the water out of it, but um, it's kind of working to flow out, but I kind of have to put it there, and I don't want anyone to see the the switches to it all. So that'll stop that, and that stops the water, but can I make it flow back again is the question. And also, um, whenever I have the water shut off is when the lamps for that are turned on, which I wanted it the other way around, where when the water is flowing, the lamps would be turned on. So I'm kind of will have to go off in my own time and figure out uh, how to fix that. But let's go fix this roof. Now I'm gonna go place water everywhere. But at least you'll um at least you'll get to kind of see how I've built this. So it's it's very square. Um but hopefully I'll make a nice fancy kind of roof. Don't really have a design in mind when I go off and build these buildings. I don't particularly plan it, I just kind of build it and see what happens. I have built a spa before in one of my kind of creative mode worlds. Um, kind of got an idea to just build a spa and then built the mechanism for it. And when you turn the water on, the water flows out and the redstone turns the lamps on built it the same way but it's kind of not working so I'll have to kind of go and fix that in my own spare time probably and of course I gotta decorate this place as well don't have many decorations to decorate it at the moment but I do have the stuff to build it so we can definitely finish building it today and give it a little bit of a roof, definitely light up the place because I started seeing like spawners and creepers start spawning on the platform before I built anything because I didn't have any torches anywhere. So that scared me a little bit. And I also built a bridge um, to get across to here. Now I want to I wanna get rid of this because I don't want anyone to see the concrete powder in the back. I want people to see concrete. I don't want them, you know, it's, it's, it'd be nice, you know. Just have a constant, like a constant throughout the whole thing. What if instead I kind of had the back as a kind of a feature wall? I might do that. So this back part here, to kind of hide the machine at the back, have a little bit of a feature. If I do pink here, and at the end here, fill it in with the blue. And then I guess pink all around, because I've run out of the blue. And see how that kind of turns out. Like I said, I do not have a design in mind, I'm just kind of going with it, see what it builds. Okay, um, I like the strong vibrant colours as well of the concrete. Ah, oh, that's actually really nice. I like that. It's nice, it's bright, it's vibrant, it's colourful. Now, uh, one of my favourite colours is blue, but recently one of the more favorite things that I've enjoyed doing is kind of having items with like pink and blue or like baby pink and blue um, just kind of around. 
I, I feel like these two colours just kind of go together for some reason. They're very nice and aesthetically pleasing to me. Probably not as aesthetically pleasing to like a lot of people maybe. But to me I really enjoy the colour of pink and blue together for some reason. I just really like it. It's a, it's a nice, it's a nice kind of colour like just colours to have together I don't know why so that's what I decided to have here is just a bunch of pink and blue um, for an aesthetically pleasing place it's a relaxing place why not have some aesthetically pleasing colours uh, and it's in my own world so why not make it out of the stuff that I like and like anyone can probably just go off and build their own kind of little spa with their own mechanism to have the water flowing and everything in their own world. All you need is redstone and the redstone torches and some levers and some sticky pistons obviously to move the blocks. I'm going to create some more concrete. For sure. Give me that concrete. All I want is that concrete. All I need is concrete. Concrete. I just really love the bright, vibrant colours of the concrete. It's nice. Like, look at how pretty that is. It's so much brighter than wool as well. Like, at first, wool was probably the only kind of more colourful block that you could build out of but it looks very much like um, the concrete powder it has like that bit the bits of like lighter color throughout it so like they were very bright and vibrant but they weren't so stand out so like just there so this is a, a nice block that they've made, uh, that, Mojang, that, that Mojang and 4J Studios have made. It's, it, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, honestly. Honestly, with a lot of the updates that 4J Studios has done with Minecraft, I've been enjoying them. Like the battle mini games and the glide mini games. And just kind of some of the more new blocks has made it exciting because originally when you first started playing Minecraft, all you had was just like your basics of wood, um, co like the the um, stone, and obviously if you put in the furnace, it made the bricks and everything. Like it was very simple. Um, you you had wool and that's the colors that you built out of and stuff it was just very simple um and obviously there was no guide on how to craft anything so the idea was to ask your friends and see how you crafted things and you could get lost and involved in the game for hours just simply getting supplies and honestly you can still do that now like who doesn't let's put our hands up right now <laughs> like honestly the amount of people that I've talked to who've played Minecraft will understand the moment you go and play Minecraft and you go and look at the time you're like oh my gosh when did I play this for like 10 hours I thought I was only playing for like two <laughs> and it happens it happens it legitimately happens and it's I talk to every like everyone I talk to say the same thing what if I put the pink concrete all around here I feel like that would make the roof kind of stand out rather than having a just giant uh, I guess a uh, sunroof with the glass and everything have like a little bit of a pattern so when you stare up at the ceiling and the sunroof you get a little bit of a pattern uh, for me 
I feel like that would be very nice. So I'm going to try and put some pink around here and uh, see what happens. And I might also decorate uh, with the blue um, concrete as well. I want to... Hmm, so do I put wood around here again and then some windows again? I feel like that might work best. So we'll put the birch uh, planks around here again to kind of just make the pink a bit more, like stand out a bit more because you have the lighter color wood not wool, wood, and um, <laughs> I think I said wool because we were talking about wool and that's just my fault. It, it's honestly standing out a lot more, so I feel like breaking it up with the wood has helped in kind of making it stand out that bit more, because if you just had the colour, I feel like it would be over the top and you'd kind of be overloaded with colour. I had to stop my mic for a second because I yawned like crazy. Let's see. Should I put pink or should I put glass? I feel like I should put glass. I'm using the wrong tool. My bad. That's why it's not working as great. Jeez. Okay. Put some... Yeah, glass definitely looks better. No, I placed, I placed the wrong one. No. Yeah, glass definitely looks better. For sure. For sure. I like that. It kind of it breaks it up and makes it kind of the same all around. I like that. I like that. No, oh. I keep I keep doing that for some reason where I'm just accidentally placing them on top of the other brick. I don't know why. It's just a thing I am doing for some reason. So I guess just fill this in and fill these in. I made an interesting pattern by making the windows cut go in a kind of more diagonal way. I just wanted it to be a little bit more different, I guess. And we're almost done and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Try with the blue now. There we go. I like that. I like that. Just kind of fill in the the, the corners maybe with the blue. Go corner. Like that. And then continue with the color or try something. Let's try with glass. There we go. I like that. Like we don't have much um blue. This is this is very nice. I like this. I like this. I've done good. <laughs> Just Done good with the guessing. Um, and then around here, like this. There we go. Very nice. Um, yeah, and then maybe just some pink. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is very nice. It's kind of broken up the, the colours a bit. I like this. I legitimately like this. It's a very nice pattern. Just kind of has the nice subtle touches of the blue on the outside. Um, still has a kind of a sunroof effect, but there's a nice pattern on the top. Um, I decided to get some uh, some glass fill in the hole that was in the in the the roof a little bit, and obviously we're going to fill this place with some torches because I don't want anything spawning on this roof. I would be so sad if things just started spawning on here. I feel like I should probably put torches like around the top of it a bit 
But there we go. The the general shape of the the spa is done, and honestly, it looks really nice. It really looks nice with the concrete, and I'm glad I figured out how to make concrete, even if it was accidental. I really feel very silly for not realizing, I guess, sooner that you could make. <laughs> that was how you made the concrete. Like, I knew you could get concrete in Minecraft because I remember seeing the videos and the new materials and everything. And yet, I didn't think to mix it with water. Why? I don't know. <laughs> We're going on um, a bit of a search because I need some clay because I'd like to make some pots and I'd like to make some bricks. And uh, what better way to do that than to get some clay? I remember seeing some in the little biome. Then what is this? So I let my fiance into the world while um, recording a video and he, he just kind of went off and did his own thing. And I have a feeling that this is what um, he made. Because the whole time I was like, what are you doing? And he was just kind of maniacally laughing and I was like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> So he's gonna made himself a little hut. Oh, I need to keep that there. I need to keep that there because it's just a little nice uh, reminder <laughs> that my fiance was in my world maniacally laughing and I still don't know what he's done that is evil but I can see that he's made himself a home so I'll let him have a home. Is this just sand or is this clay that I'm picking up? I can't tell. If it's... okay, no, it's clay. There we go. We've found ourselves some clay. It's so hard to just, like, tell the difference between clay and sand. Like, you really cannot discern the difference until you go and shovel it up or you have it put right next to each other. Because sand is just, like, that little bit more lighter in colour than the clay. But it just, <laughs> it's still so difficult to discern the difference unless you shovel it up. But I'm happy that I found clay because I kind of want to make something out of bricks. I kind of want to get some plant pots. I feel like um, making something out of bricks might take a lot of clay. So I will kind of rethink that one a little bit if it does take a lot to make those bricks honestly um but I, d I definitely want to want to get myself some little plant pots because that will just be nice to have some plants in my home and some nice decorations especially for the spa have some nice plants in there. It's a relaxing area. You gotta have some nice relaxing plants as well. Now I gotta look around for some more uh, uh, clay uh, <laughs> to shovel up. I know, I'm sure there is some more around here because I remember seeing a lot when I was stealing the lily pads. Yeah. Okay, so there's definitely a lot more around here. I don't know why there is so much in um, this little biome here, the little swamp biome. I don't know if uh, clay has a tendency to spawn more in the swamp biome. Um, I also know there are like really new biomes in Minecraft and there's like over 20 biomes or something like that and I don't think I've been to that many because I'm still very new to the new Minecraft um, 
scene. I do know that where I spawned is very interesting in the fact that there are very different biomes all around my house and easily accessible. Like for instance the like dark oak kind of mushroom type biome. I don't know what that one's called but it's a specific biome. Then I have the swamp biome here. Um, I have the snow biome close by. I've got a desert biome close by. I've got a mountain kind of biome close by. I've got um, abandoned mine shaft close by. I am supposed to have a like the sea temple close by. I still haven't found it. I don't know why the the sea guardians are there. What is this? Is there a cave under there? I think there's a cave under there. But also at the same time, where I spawn is like a little island and I'm just completely surrounded by water and everything. Like, this is definitely a cave under there. I don't know if the water stops because of the um, vines or if it keeps going down and I'm kind of scared to check because that's a big fall down if I fall down. Like, that's definitely a big drop. I don't know if I can somehow look over and check to see if the water carries on. No, the water does not carry on. I would fall straight through. Um, that's not good. You know what? I'm going to mark this area though because this cave looks really big and really good. So I'll put a torch there. Okay. Um... I apparently cannot place torches there because I will make the sand fall. It is not supported by anything. I can see literally under my feet from that sand. Oh my goodness. I could have fell the whole way down. Because sometimes when you put stuff on, like torches on the gravel and the sand that's supporting itself, it will just, all of it will fall down. That was very close. <laughs> Because I feel like that fall would ki kill me. I, I definitely feel like that fall would kill me. I'm going to go back to my, my fiancé's cute little hut that is made here. And light it up a little bit for him. Because I feel like this might be where he um, spawns next. I gave him some of my spare armor as well and everything just so he's safe. So... He'll, he'll be fine out here with the googlies and if he dies I know exactly where he'll be spawning. Because <laughs> I built a house at the spawn point. What is down here? There's torches down here but I haven't gone down any further. I can't really see. It just it keeps trudging down. It keeps trudging down. There are some... Some nasty sounding things down there that I don't want to go down there. Please don't hurt me. It's a very creepy cave system. And while I would love to explore it, um, I kind of want to keep my experience in my lives because I need the experience to enchant things. And I'm not willing to risk my life. Um, fighting them things and trying to get home because trying to get home while it's dark is dangerous in and of self and I should probably put uh, torches everywhere but you know what I don't and I'm probably not going to because I never learn from my mistakes sometimes I do but like for instance here there are some torches and then it just stops and uh that's a problem for me and this is why I have so many zombies and so many skeletons and, and creepers spawning around here. 
See, see here, I made the effort to put torches down because I was like, I'm not dealing with anything around this area. I don't want anything to spawn. No, thank you. There's so many torches on my special little snow island that's here. And looking at the time, I usually try and keep these types of episodes. What are you doing, Cal? Hello, are you happy to see me? Are you happy that I'm home? Is that what you're doing? You're just happy that I'm home. I've got myself a little a little pet cow and is happy to see me home. But you know what? Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, waddle over to like button, set the subscribe to become a hatchling. And I'll see you in a wingspan. Wait.